everybody, welcome back to this random journey. Um, thought I would pop on really quick and just play with some uh, wire. Uh, I have an idea that I've had for a really long time about how to do a wire flower. And I thought, you know what? Let's just make a video while I'm trying to figure it out. So basically, in my mind, you would have one continuous longer uh, wire that would go around a shorter wire. This one's actually probably too big of a wire, but it doesn't really matter on size. Um, and then you would just do a basic wrap. And I'm not sure how the quality of video is going to be, um, but hopefully it turns out okay for you guys. So basically just a basic wrap. And I want it to be, the first one to be pretty secure. So I'm going to use my pliers and really get it secure. I'm going to go ahead and do a second one for the, the first wire wrap. And then we can just rat, squish that together. Or it can be finicky sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Just making sure it's a tight start. Okay. After I got the start, I'm going to clip that really close, get that ex little bit of excess off. And then we would start making our petals off of what will be the center. So this shorter one would be the center, the longer one will be our petals. Um, so basically however big you want your petals to be. So we're just going to make, I don't know, like a two and a half inch petal and see how that goes. So when we come back to the center, we're just gonna do another wrap around like that. And then we're going to pinch all of that really close together. If I can get my pliers to cooperate like that. Make sure to pinch it down. And so we have our first loop and you'll have to make sure, see that, cause it would separate, but you could do that and you could have, you could actually make wraps all the way till, you know, you had a space in here, whatever you want to do. But I want mine to stay really close like that. And I'm going to make my next one. And like I said, this is just an old piece of wire, so it's all crinkly, but I probably could just make a messy wire out of it. So same thing going back to center and I'm going to wrap it around like that. I'm going, oops, I'm going to pinch it. Try not to pinch your fingers <laughs> and then pinch it down. The reason I'm trying this method is because the other method I had to cut a whole bunch of wire to links and then I don't know, it just became kind of a, a mess. So um, I thought, well, let's try this and see how it goes. All right, so then same thing. And we're just going to do that over and over until we have however many petals we want, whatever that may look like. And I'm actually out of um, this is going to be my last petal because that's the last, <laughs> that's the last of my wire. Like I said, I'm just trying this out. Um, so since I don't have any wire left, I'm just going to make a, make a loop here. Come here. I'm just going to finish this out. I'm just going to tight, do a tight, like I was going to finish out a flower. I'll hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm going to pinch that. And so they're kind of like trying to separate, I'm noticing. But all I'm going to do, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to push those all together. And then I'm going to, and you can kind of see how it would, how it would be if there was more. Um, it would be a fuller flower, obviously, which would be really cool. So that's probably what we'll try to do next. But um, I'm just going to bring this here as tight as I can. Like that. And 
actually, I could always do an extra one with this extra I got going on and bring it back through this hole like that if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep it this simple. And then pinch that down really tight. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off and see what it's looking like. Actually, this one's going to need to come in. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I need a center anyway, so I'm just going to take this excess. Excess? Anyways, I'm going to take that and put it through this a couple times. Um, and I think I'm going to separate these petals. I didn't get my petals even either, but that's okay. And I'm going to go through... Uh, like, so I was here, now moving over here, I'm going to go through. Does that make sense? And then I'm going to move over to the next one. And go through that. Anytime you're doing a craft of any kind, you just kind of gotta play around with it and see what looks cool. If it doesn't look cool, then try something different. Can't just get discouraged if something's like, oh, you're like, oh, that's not looking good. Then, oh, okay, well, I just learned from that mistake, or I learned that that doesn't look good, so what can I do to make it look better? So, what I'm gonna do with this extra. I'm just going to wrap around, just make it look messy in the middle. Excess. More petals would look way better, I'm just saying. Uh, but I think this technique is going to work out really good. All right, so now I'm going to, I'm going to messify the, the, um, petals because they're already kind of crinkly so I'm just going to crinkleify these give them a little bit of shape okay like that and the last one just go crazy with it most you're going to do is break it right all right and then you're going to shape them however you want, shape them up, give them a little curly cue. I know what I just thought is you guys probably can't even see <laughs> what I'm doing because this is a black background. <laughs> oh, I'm probably just going to have to delete this video, huh? Um, but anyways, if you saw anything I just did, we'll see. But that's basically the design I'm thinking about right there, um, but with more petals. Um, but that is kind of the method that I've been wanting to try, and I think it's going to work out really good. So I'm actually kind of excited about doing a giant one for you guys, because um, I think it's going to turn out really cool. Whether that giant one will be a messy flower or not, I'm not sure yet. Um, if you guys have a preference on which one I do, just let me know. But that's it. That was super quick. Um, used with, I just used um, old wire I had from previous things. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button, and I will see you in the next one.